The bronchial mucus coats the surface of the bronchi and acts as a lubricant, air humidifier and protective agent, representing a barrier against infection. This is therefore a normal secretion essential to the correct functioning of the organs. It covers a surface area of 400 meters squared in your lungs, equivalent to two tennis courts. A human being produces two liters of mucus per day, composed of 95% water, 2% lipids, proteins and salt, and 3% mucins, COPD, cystic fibrosis, asthma and other chronic respiratory diseases induce a modification of the viscosity and elasticity of the airway mucus linked to its composition and structure. It's now well known that mucus is a viscoelastic gel and thixotropic. When a stress is applied to it, mucus accumulates energy and begins to flow like a liquid. When this stress is stopped, the flow also stops and the mucus returns to its solid state. For viscoelastic gels like mucus, the flow can only be triggered if the stress exceeds a threshold value. Five years of research in collaboration with the CNRS M2P2 laboratory, specialized in the physics of materials, allowed this threshold value to be determined. Simiox, by applying a pneumatic vibratory stress above this threshold value, modifies mucus rheology and promotes its flow by enlisting the volume of air available in the patient's lungs. In a healthy subject, the bronchial mucus is produced mainly in the proximal respiratory airways, by the seromucous glands and the goblet cells. Chronic lesions of the bronchial epithelium in obstructive pulmonary pathologies cause an increase in the volume and or the number of mucus-producing cells in the proximal and distal bronchi. This remodeling of the bronchial epithelium leads to pathologic hypersecretion of mucus in all of the bronchial tree, promoting obstruction of the distal airways.